To think this space race was one that countries fought for, and in 2021, a country going against one man's achievement alone is intriguing. We've all been focusing on the race between Russia and the US, but we've all forgotten about the vital participant in this race, China. One thing we often overlook is China's secrecy in efforts to clone its competitors' inventions. And with all of this discussion about traveling to Mars, we've been left with the additional uncertainties, such as if Elon's crew will ever make it there, or whether China will be the first to arrive, and we aim to provide some answers in this video. The private funding that is fueling the US space race has yet to develop a competitor to put pressure on SpaceX, whose major competition may be China's space program, rather than other enterprises in the US and Europe or Russia's space program. As the year concludes, Elon Musk's space enterprise SpaceX, Falcon 9 rockets has been launched 131 times since June 2010, with 129 full mission successes, one partial failure, and one catastrophic loss of the satellite. Furthermore, one rocket and its cargo were destroyed on the launch pad during the fueling procedure, just before a static fire test was scheduled to take place. Only the 34 satellites sent into orbit by China's space agencies will be in orbit by 2020. While this is a poor measure of activity, it puts the U.S. advantage in space access into context. To say Musk's company dominates the commercial satellite launch industry is an understatement, and I am confident that in a few years, like with the electric vehicle market, when we think of space, we will think of SpaceX rather than NASA. So far this year, SpaceX has launched Starlink missions using its Falcon 9 rocket fleet at a rate of more than twice per month. SpaceX has utilized reused first stages on several of those missions, setting new records for the number of flights. Depending on missions' needs, the most flown Falcon 9 rocket in SpaceX's arsenal has registered nine launches and landings, either onshore or aboard the company's floating ocean-going drone ship. However, China is not lagging in terms of space exploration. China has just launched a second crew to China's new orbiting space station. The mission is one of many that are threatening the United States' supremacy in space exploration. On October 10th, China sent a new crew of three astronauts into space, beginning the longest journey ever to the country's orbiting space station known as Tiangong, or Heavenly Place. The launch occurred just after midnight on early Saturday morning local time in the Gobi Desert, a month after the first three inhabitants finished a three-month tenure on board Tiangong where they tested the station's features during a trip characterized as completely successful by an official. According to Ling Kang, deputy head of the China Manned Space Agency at a news briefing in Beijing, the crew is anticipated to stay aboard for six months, as would be usual for future missions. The current trip is part of a burst of activity in China's space program, which has included the return of moon soil samples, as well as plans to send its first crewed mission to Mars in 2033 and establish a base there. So let us discuss Musk's idea to take people to the Red Planet. Musk has previously predicted that completely developing Starship will cost around $5 billion, though SpaceX has not disclosed how much it has spent on the venture yet. The company has conducted several successful test flights of Starship, yet landing attempts following the past four high-altitude flights resulted in horrific explosions. Despite the loss of prototypes, SpaceX sees the test flights as progress towards developing a completely reusable rocket. SpaceX's current Falcon fleet is somewhat reusable since the rocket's boosters can be landed and reused. Musk, on the other hand, expects that Starship can turn space travel into something more like commercial air travel. The massive size of the rocket would also allow it to carry many times as much cargo at once. For example, whereas SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets can launch up to 60 Starlink satellites at a time, SpaceX claims Starship would be able to launch 400 Starlink satellites at a time. Meanwhile, SpaceX still has a long way to go before Starship can take passengers. The rocket has not yet entered orbit. Musk stated last year that the business will do hundreds of missions with satellites before we bring people on board. Musk is very convinced that SpaceX will land humans on Mars by 2026, stating in December that it is a few years from now. He also stated that SpaceX intends to launch a Starship rocket without a crew in two years. Musk may be focused on Mars, but the challenges of developing Starship are not lost on the space billionaire. Now let's speak about how the world's second largest economy is preparing periodic crewed expeditions to Mars. China intends to launch its first crewed expedition to Mars in 2033 as it pursues its space aspirations in a race with the United States. In June, Wang Zhaojun, 
the chairman of the state-owned China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, detailed the country's Mars intentions for the first time during a space conference in Russia. Wang stated that the first phase in China's plans is to employ robots to explore Mars to study its surface and help choose a location for a colony. The next step would be to deploy people to Mars to construct a base station. Then there's China's desire for large-scale Earth-to-Mars freight trips. China has set aside the years 2033, 2035, 2037, 2041, and 2043 for such trips and has stated it will investigate technologies to carry astronauts back to Earth. According to the school, a round-trip journey to Mars would take hundreds of days. In April, China launched the main module for its new space station. The launch, the first of 11 missions to build the station, received more public attention than anticipated for the wrong reasons. The primary rocket booster fell ominously down to Earth after reaching space in what is known as an uncontrolled re-entry. The debris landed in the Indian Ocean in May, narrowly missing the Maldives and sparking criticism of China's largest rocket launch, the Long March 5B. China's Mars mission, Tianwen, or Questions to Heaven, named after traditional poetry, performed a trifecta of accomplishments done by NASA for years in one go. It entered orbit around the planet in February, securely landed a vehicle on the surface on May 15th, and shortly after that, a Land Rover was launched. The Soviet Union was the first country to land a ship on Mars in 1971, but the lander ceased communicating seconds later, most likely due to a sandstorm. It sent a single picture that was either fragmentary or indecipherable. Several further efforts to reach the surface by various governments have since failed. You might be asking what problems these people will have to solve before humans can travel to Mars. Humans have long dreamt of exploring and colonizing Mars, with SpaceX intentions to land people on Mars by 2026 and China's by 2030. That fantasy might become a reality. One of the most difficult issues is just getting humans over the 34 million miles of space between Earth and Mars. However, once there, mankind will face immense challenges to establish a permanent presence in Mars. The red planet orbits the Sun at a distance of around 140 million miles from Earth. When people ultimately reach this world, whether in 2030 years or 2050, they may face a 1,000-day or longer trip. In comparison, the whole Apollo 11 mission lasted a little over eight days. If future Mars astronauts become lonely or if something more terrible goes wrong, assistance will be a long distance away. The situation presents many unknowns for academics who study how human bodies and brains adapt to the rigors of spaceflight, ecosystems as habitats. When humans ultimately make it to Mars, they'll need somewhere to sleep, and those future living quarters will have to be much more than just houses. The secret to creating these self-sufficient dwellings may be smart systems. That's a catch-all word for intelligent devices that can collaborate with humans, ranging from cleaning robots to floating networks of fire detectors. NASA, for example, has previously dispatched three Astro B robots to the International Space Station. The space agency is investigating whether these flying cube-shaped devices will be able to assist astronauts with their regular tasks, such as transporting goods around the space station. There are other additional issues to cover, but we'll save that for another video. SpaceX's core rationale has always been one of competition, encouraging the world's largest consumer of space services, the U.S. government, to choose fixed-price contracts provided by several bids. As a result, established corporations such as ULA and Arian Space have been compelled to lower prices and develop new technologies. And across a variety of space business models, other venture-backed enterprises have followed in SpaceX's footsteps, sparking an industrial renaissance. However, as the market leader, SpaceX requires a rival. Only China is expected to match Musk's ambitious program of satellite launches and space exploration. The question in 2021 is not whether SpaceX will lead the industry, but whether any other company will be able to compete. Who do you believe will be the first to reach Mars? Do you believe China should be considered a competitor to Musk? Please leave your thoughts in the comments area below.